Hello and welcome back. It's been a while, but I'm back now. Thank you once again for joining me. What I'd like to do is to invite you on another journey. Now, my passion, as you know, is about empowering people, reminding people how to take control of their health. And I realise that when I give my presentations, it's wonderful that people learn a few cool things, or I like to say they just get reminded. It's not like they don't know this stuff. The challenge is, is that when they go back home, back into their car, back into their normal environment, the challenge is them interrupting their pattern and perhaps making some changes which will benefit them and benefit those around them. Remember too, it's not a genius formula to go around pleasing everyone just to try and make them happy. Happiness doesn't exist out there, it's within self. And once you are, or start to make yourself show your happiness, not in, in a fake way, but because you are happy by focusing what you have, what you love, what you've got and all the rest of the things, you know, by asking smarter questions, you then give other people permission to do the same thing. In other words, you teach them without realising you're teaching them. My point is that I've created three CDs in a pack and you'll find that on my website. And what I'd like to do then is to invite you on that journey, if you choose to, to purchase my CDs. They come in a lovely case, which I don't have in front of me, but you'll be able to see on my website. And you'll be able to be reminded as many times as you want about making some changes. And I don't tell you what to do. I invite you on a journey to find out under what I call forefathers wisdom, for woman's wisdom, whatever you want to call it their habits and their key ones, how you think, breathe, drink, eat, do what I call creative movements, forgiveness of self and others, the definition of insanity, having a clear purpose with an open loving heart and leaving a legacy behind, and remembering what fun looks like to you, and also celebrating your successes. So that in a nutshell is basically the broad headings. However, I just want to give you a little clip of this. Now I'm putting this on my YouTube channel, but obviously you'll be able to see this on my website as well. And I'm going to do a little bit of miming, but obviously I'm a little bit off because I don't exactly know what I'm saying because I did this recording a while ago. Are you ready? While I'm as busy as I ever have been, I've learnt on my journey of life that I can only love others to the very degree I love myself. In other words, I can't give what I don't have. I can only coach and teach others at the same level of health that I have. Just like I couldn't fix my own Toyota hybrid car any better than someone else's. I will share with you many simple statements and aspects of life and health that will be of huge benefit to all who choose to take control of their optimum vitality and well-being. It is interesting to know that most of us have become victims of our minds and slaves to our eating habits, which as a consequence has allowed governments, pharmaceutical companies, doctors and indeed food to control us. Simply stated, your physiology, what and how you focus on, as well as what we eat, will control every aspect of our existence. That is how we feel, look, work, play, emotional experiences, our susceptibility to diseases, even the quality of our sleep and dreams that we may have. Focusing on foods, metabolic typing is customised nutrition. This means finding out how your body reacts to different foods. Knowing this, you can control cravings, hunger, energy levels, emotions and mental focus and all the other great benefits I mentioned earlier. You'll basically start to listen and feel more closely to how your body communicates to you and about the foods you have eaten or are about to eat in my habit number four, eat the foods right for you. Did you know that there are far more people crossing over the line which suffer from addictions, obesity and diseases than there are healthy and or at optimal vitality levels? Addictions are behavioural patterns that perpetuate underlying problems while at the same time providing symptomatic relief. You may not think of yourself as an addict, but remember that addictive behaviour perpetuates itself through denial. It is one of the tragedies of our age that we are so oblivious of the grandeur that surrounds us. However, through our obliviousness, we both destroy our teacher and decimate the source of our health and livelihood. An example would be sugar. 99% of the population is addicted to it. In fact, they are so addicted to it, they don't even know that they're addicted to it. 
And of course, it's socially acceptable to be addicted to this class one drug. That's right, you heard me make a clear and accurate statement, which I hope wakes you up. The sugar industry is one of the most profitable in the world, and they even know how addictive their consumer base has become, but continue to lie and grow their shareholders' bonuses measured in billions, while at the same time people in our capitalist society are dying due to their addictions and diseases. In other words, the sugar companies and the pharmaceutical drug companies are killing its consumer base. When listening to these recordings, you may find it useful to make notes or to simply play the CD or MP3 recording again. The more times you listen to the main points, the more times you'll start to empower yourself to make the necessary distinctions and changes in your life to reach optimal health and vitality. I have also chosen to repeat myself a few times so as to bring home the message about various habits which may or may not serve you. Now that was interesting because I did that recording probably about nearly two years ago and it's still relevant today. In fact all the material in there is very relevant and I only want people that wish to take control of their health and then remind us others without really knowing that they reminded them how to do the same. There's a big shift that's occurring in this world and I'm excited that I'm on board and I'd like you to be on board. What I find is that when I give my presentations, a lot of people after they've heard me present, and I don't just present the same thing, I feel into the audience and see which will serve them and what won't, and I provide them hopefully, well they'll tell me what they want and I'll give them what they need. And that is, or can be quite challenging, because to the degree that somebody's mindset is closed and they know what it is, what else is there to know? They already know. So my invite for you, if you choose to, is to purchase three CDs, comes in a lovely cassette, and you'll be able to listen and play those and have fun and laugh at some of the statements that I make. However, what I'd like you to do is to empower yourself by listening and then making some distinctions, making some changes in your life, whether it's to drink more water, whether it's to cut down on the amount of sugar you're consuming. Remove gluten from your diet for at least a month or three and see how that makes you feel. Now, you might say, well, this is not simple stuff. Trust me, I'm not a doctor. It is when the meaning equals pleasure to you, then your motivation is there to do it. Have fun. My love to you all and thank you for listening. Bye for now.